I uh, was on YouTube this morning when I came across this fascinating video about migrating tree frogs who <laughs> Wait, I, I could be wrong here, but I think I smell some smoke, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for You Burnt. Welcome to the Burn Zone. We got a lot of topics to sizzle through and not a lot of time. Over here is the burner. Let's turn on the gas and load her up. Woo! Snoochie boochies! First up, vaccine cards. Vaccine cards. I waited a year to leave my house, and all I get is this lousy, off-brand flashcard. This is more anticlimactic than this year's Oscars. Sideburn Oscars. Sideburn. Here's your proof of vaccination, and since it's so important, we made sure to print it on the same paper as a Bagel Boss punch card. Bite and get none free. But don't worry, we made sure the card was just a little too big to fit in your wallet without folding and flimsy enough that when you fold it, you're pretty sure it'll fall apart. And now I guess I'll just carry it around in my wallet forever like that free condom I got in high school health class. Seth, you should throw that away. Never! It reminds me of the first time I didn't have sex. And what if I lose the vaccine card? Will I die? Even worse, will I get turned away at Trader Joe's? Vaccine cards, it's a good thing I got my second dose already, cuz you burnt! <laughs> Citizen Kane, you recently lost your ranking as the number one movie of all time on Rotten Tomatoes to Paddington 2. How does it feel to lose to a dumbass British bear in galoshes? Technically, he's from Peru. And if you're home right now thinking of watching Citizen Kane, it's a sled. There, I saved you two hours that you can spend doing something more productive like watching Paddington 2. Citizen Kane only has two colors, zero bears, and not a single Hugh Grant song and dance number. Citizen Kane is the kind of movie loved by film stomps trying to look smart to get laid. Well, there's only one type of laid I'm interested in, and that's marmalade. And now there's Mank, a new black and white movie about how they made the first black and white movie. No, thank you. You're welcome. Citizen Kane, just like the sled at the end of that movie. Yeah, Rose burnt. <laughs> Philly accents. Hey, Philly accents, I hate to whiz on your hoagie, but you're something we could all do without. You're the grossest regional dialect. You make Boston sound like the Queen's English, and why do you talk like that? Are you mad you can't get good bagels in Philly because of the water? Or is your tongue burnt from licking the scrapple pan? I'll be honest, I hope Mara Easttown never catches this murderer so we can off a few more of you people. Philly accents, time to get up out of this, John, because you's burnt. The CDC, you keep switching up the rules on us. Does CDC stand for changes decisions constantly, can't decide crap? Just tell me, CDC, do I wear a mask outside or not? In a car? In a bar, in a hat, with a cat, seriously. CDC, what are the rules here? What if I'm vaccinated, but my cousin's not, but he's six feet away from me inside a screen in an outdoor porch, but he's a mouth breather, and I can still smell that he just ate an onion? You got a mnemonic device for that? CDC, you can kiss my ASS because you burnt. Hitler's sex life. New reports have come out about Hitler's sex life, and apparently he was into some freaky shit. So uh, buckle up, Hitler, because we finally got some dirt on you, bud. Who could have guessed this guy had unresolved issues? I did not see that coming. I see what you did there, and I like it. Apparently, Hitler liked it when women urinated on him during sex. And let me guess, CNN can't get a hold of that tape either? And from the photos I've seen, Hitler also liked being pissed off. Hitler, while you're down in hell getting a hot poker shoved up your ass for all eternity, try not to enjoy it so much. Yeah, Bert! Graduation caps and gowns. It's gonna be 95 degrees, and everyone has to sit in the sun for several hours. I've got an idea. Let's cover them head to toe in your cheapest black polyester so they can roast in their own juices like an Instapot. Also, that cap has four deadly sharp corners on it, so everyone make sure to blindly fling it up in the air when you're done. Less competition in the job market. Seriously, who looks good in a cap and gown? I bet the guy who came up with this look was like, I can't believe they fell for it. But seriously, congratulations, graduates. You finished school, and it's time to embark on your new life in, I'm guessing from your outfit, the year 1540? Graduation caps and gowns, time to go to the back of the closet forever because you burnt. People who got COVID twice, what is wrong? Oh, that buzzer means we're out of time. I guess I'll have to find fault with some of you unlucky SOBs. The next time out, this has been your burnt.